fairly early on in the writing sessions, but we knew when approaching this record, we didn't really have any set guidelines or anything really specific, no direction for the record, but we did want to concentrate on paying a significant amount of homage to 90s grunge rock. And I think it was even said, what if we had a riff that's kind of like song number two by Blur. Ding, 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 ding. That riff. I, I can only imagine how great it's going to be live. It's just going to be like... We all heard that and we're like, all right, this song's going to be fucking really cool. Well, when I personally originally recorded bass, I didn't know it was going to be bass to the like finished part of the song. I thought I was recording dummy bass to use later on, but I was actually recording the song. It might be my favorite song on the record. It's just got a really nostalgic feel to it. It kind of paints a picture of the type of music that I have always been drawn to, just kind of that 90s rock and roll vibe. 